It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Tuesday, January the 2nd, 2018, brought to you today by the First Bank along with Liel's Mexican Restaurant. Funeral service for Martin Hernandez, 85, a mule. She was scheduled for 11 o'clock Wednesday morning, January the 3rd, at the Maculate Conception Catholic Church here in Muleshoe, with Father uh, Rennie Perez of Muleshoe officiating. Rosary will be 7 p.m. Tuesday evening at the Ellis Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Martin died on Sunday here in Muleshoe. He was born October the 28th, 1932 in Mexico to Miguel and Angela Salinas Hernandez. Martin was a farm laborer and preceded in death by his parents. He is survived by two sons, Martin Hernandez of Orlando, Florida, and Roman Hernandez, also of Orlando. His five daughters, Gloria Hernandez of Orlando as well, Maria Hernandez of Mexico, Michaela Hernandez of Mexico, and Monica Hernandez of Orlando, and Anna Maria Hernandez of Muleshoe. He is survived by two sisters, Antonia Hernandez of Mexico, and Rosa Hernandez, also of Mexico, a brother, and Jose, uh, a brother, Jose Hernandez of Mexico, survives Martin as well. And repeating funeral services for Martin Hernandez, 85 of Mule Shoe, scheduled for 11 o'clock Wednesday morning, January 3rd, at the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church with Father Perez officiating. Rosary will be 7 o'clock Tuesday evening at the Ellis Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will be in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Please keep the entire family of Martin Hernandez on your prayer list today. Funeral service for Patricia Ann Clement, 73, of Lubbock, formerly of Muleshoe, is scheduled for 11 o'clock Thursday morning, January the 4th, at the Centerpoint Church here in Muleshoe with Dale Griswold officiating. Burial will be in the Mount Olivet Cemetery in Hugo, Oklahoma, at 11 a.m. Saturday morning, January 6th. Pat died on Friday, December 29th in Lubbock. She was born May the 10th, 1944 in Hugo and married Delmer Clements in Hobbs, New Mexico on June the 22nd, 1960. Pat was a postal worker for many years here in Muleshoe. She is preceded in death by her husband, Delmer, in 2015, her daughter, Tisha Dean Clements, in 2016, and her son, Brett Allen Clements, in 2017. Her parents, her two sisters, preceded her in death, Ida Witt. Whitford and Irene Foreman, and five brothers, Charlie Pettyjohn, Ray Pettyjohn, Jerry Pettyjohn, J.L., and Roy Dell Pettyjohn. Pat is survived by her two daughters, Shanna Chapman of Lubbock, and Casey Clements, also of Lubbock, a brother, Bill Pettyjohn of Seminole, two grandchildren, Dustin Clements and Shay Chapman, and one great-grandchild, Cason Castillo. The family suggests memorials be sent to the Muleshoe Meals on Wheels program, 300 South 1st Street, Muleshoe, Texas, 79347, or the Parkview Nursing Care Center, 1100 West Avenue J. Online condolences can be made at www.lsfuneralhomes.com. And repeating funeral service for Pat Clements, 73 of Lubbock, formerly of Muleshoe, is scheduled for 11 a.m. Thursday morning, January the 4th, at Centerpoint Church in Muleshoe, with Dell Griswold officiating. Barry will be in Mount Olivet Cemetery in Hugo, Oklahoma, 11 a.m. Saturday morning, January the 6. Please keep the family of Pat Clements on your prayer list today. Chapel service for Dean Dillard Sprayberry Gunstream Smith, 86 of Berlin, New Mexico, formerly a Muleshoe, is scheduled for 11 a.m. Tuesday morning, Jan January the 2nd, at Ellis Funeral Home Chapel here in Muleshoe with Robbie Sneed of Denver officiating. Burial will be in the Muleshoe Memorial Park. Dean uh, Gunstream Smith died on Thursday, December the 28th in Berlin. She was born January the 13th, 1931 in Floyd County, Texas. Dean was a member of the First Christian Church in Redosa. While she lived in Muleshoe, she was an officer at the First Bank and an active member of the First United Methodist Church here in Muleshoe. She is survived by her three sons, Daryl Sprayberry and his wife, Beth, 
of Berlin, New Mexico, Tommy Gunstream and his wife Sherry of Muleshoe, and Dan Gunstream and his wife Sharon of Bossier City, Louisiana. Her two daughters, Wendy Jones and her husband Terry of Oklahoma City, Renita Smith of Amarillo, and her brother Benny D. Dillard of Roaring Springs, and four grandchildren, four great-grandchildren, and several nieces and nephews. The family suggests in lieu of flowers, memorials be made to the American Cancer Society, 3513 10th Street, Lubbock, Texas, 79415, or to the charity of your choice. Online condolences can be made at www.ellisfuneralhomes.com. And repeating chapel service for Dean Gunstream Smith, 86 of Belinda, Mexico, formerly a meal shoe, is set for 11 a.m. Tuesday morning, January the 2nd, at the Ellis Funeral Home Chapel with Bobby Sneed of Denver, Colorado, officiating burial will be in the Mule Shoe Memorial Park. Please keep the Gunstream Smith family on your prayer list today. Graveside service for Norma Lee Orwin, 92 of Mansfield, Texas, formerly a Mule Shoe, was scheduled for 10 a.m. Friday morning, January the 5th, at the Mule Shoe Memorial Park with John Rawlingson of Clovis officiating. Norma died on Wednesday, December the 27th, in Mansfield. Norma Lee Poole was born in Motley C County. On January the 21st, 1925, and moved to the Longview community near Muleshoe the same year. Her parents were early settlers in Bailey County. She is the daughter of the late William Myron Poole, Jr. and Bertha Ellen Anderson Poole. She is the widow of Wallace or Orwin. Her siblings are all deceased, Betty Poole Johnson and Myron Poole II, both of Muleshoe and Carol Poole of Clovis. Norma graduated from Muleshoe High School in 1942 and attended Texas Tech. She married and then lived and worked in several cities in California. She was typified by the Rosie the Riveter poster. After the war, she lived in Colorado but later returned to her hometown of Muleshoe. Subsequently, she lived in Clovis for nearly 40 years and then moved to Mansfield, Texas. Her three children are all graduates of MHS, Karen Jones Green, Michael of Mansfield, David Norma Jones, deceased, and Ransom Jones, and Jan of Frisco, Texas. She has seven grandchildren, Lance Howard of Weatherford, Brian Jones of Oak Park, Illinois, Stephen Jones of Houston, Dr. Corey Jones of Dallas, James Michael Jones of Plano, and Christopher Jones of Highland Park, Illinois, and Allie Jones of San Francisco, California. She has 13 great-grandchildren, Natalie and Gabriella Martinez, Jade Howard, Malcolm, Carson, and Fortis Jones, Lily and May Jones, Elijah, Lily, and Chloe Vasquez, Tatum and Rylan Jones. She is also survived by nieces and nephews, Rhonda Johnson of Troy, Michigan, Ronnie Johnson of Amarillo, Dr. Stanley Johnson of Cleburne, and Marilyn Riley of Muleshoe. Her family met in Las Vegas to celebrate her 75th birthday, New Orleans, to celebrate her 80th, Fredericksburg to celebrate her 85th, and Mansfield to celebrate her 90th birthday. While residing in Clovis, Norma was a manager of an insurance agency prior to her retirement. She had a passion for bridge and achieved a lifetime bridge master award. She was a member of the Daughters of the Nile in Clovis. Her hobby was cooking. She frequented farmer's markets and was known for all of her cooking. Wherever she lived, she always regarded Milshu as her home. A bench at the Milshu Heritage Center was donated to honor her 75th birthday. At one time, she had many relatives who were engaged in businesses and farming in the Milshu area. In lieu of flowers, please send donations to the Milshu Heritage Foundation, 2001 West American Boulevard, Milshu, Texas, 79347. And repeating graveside service for Norma Lee Orwin, 92 of Mansfield, Texas, formerly a Mule Shoe, is scheduled for 10 a.m. Friday morning, January the 5th, at the Mule Shoe Memorial Park with John Rawlinson of Clovis officiating. Please keep the family of Norma Lee Paul Orwin on your prayer list today.
We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. Take control of your first bank of Mule Shoe debit card right from your smartphone with the My Mobile Money app. It's customizable card monitoring and controls that help you manage your accounts. With My Mobile Money app, you can set interactive controls to help monitor activity and prevent unauthorized use. You can turn your card on or off, set alerts, and deny transactions based on merchant or transaction type and location, monitor and control dependent cardholder usage, receive notifications of possible fraudulent transactions and take action, deposit checks through your phone. Download the My Mobile Money app now at the App Store or Google Play. For more information, you can also call the First Bank here in Neilshu, 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South First Street. The First Bank right here in Neilshu offering the My Mobile Money app. Available at the App Store or Google Play. Call the First Bank here in Neilshu, 806-272-4515 or go by 202 South First Street. The First Bank member FDIC. This is Isla Reynolds. I am seven years old. And I know one thing, that Liao's Mexican food is the best. I love the chips and salsa at Liao's. The enchiladas are super. You have to try the guacamole and tapapillas. That's at my favorite Liao's in Milshu at 1010 West American Boulevard. Well, it is time now for the weather forecast brought to you today by Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications. First, a message from our sponsor. Secure your life with fast technologies available through Five Area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection. Door and window sensors. Receive alerts through text, email, or phone. Plans again starting at $20 per month. Call today, 5 Area, 806-272-5533, or go by their website at 5area.com. They will also be happy to give you an on-site demo, so stop by their offices today, 302 Uvalde Street, on the west edge of Muleshoe, a DSL internet connection is required that's home farm and business security and automation services available through fast technologies at five area call 806-272-5533 for more information well it was a cold end to 2017 and a cold start to 2018 as on sunday new year's eve the high was only 16 degrees here in muleshoe at channel six and the low on uh, to, uh, Monday morning, New Year's Day, was only one degrees uh, on New Year's Day. It got a little bit warmer during the day, uh, climbing into the mid-20s, but turned cold again overnight Monday night. And on New Year's Eve on Sunday, we did get a trace of snow, and you, you're watching some snow video from Sunday here in the Muleshoe area. Looking at our weather forecast over the next week, it'll stay a little bit cold, uh, but slowly warm up as the week goes on. As today on Tuesday for the Muleshoe area, calling for a sunny day, high near 33 degrees, wind chill values as low as negative seven. Southeast winds five to 10 miles per hour, becoming northwest in the morning hours. Then Tuesday night, clear low around 14 degrees, north winds five to 10 miles per hour, becoming west after midnight. Wednesday, sunny, even warmer, high near 49 degrees, west, northwest winds five to 10 miles per hour, becoming south in the afternoon, partly cloudy Wednesday night, low around 19. Thursday, mostly sunny high again, near 49 degrees south-southwest winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming southeast in the afternoon. Thursday night, mostly clear, low around 21. East-southeast winds around 5 miles per hour, becoming west after midnight. Friday, sunny high near 57 degrees. West winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming east-northeast in the afternoon. Friday night, mostly clear, low around 24. So, 
will slowly warm up as we go uh, through the week and end up nearly at 60 degrees by Friday. And repeating our forecast for today on Tuesday, sunny, high near 33, very cold as wind chill values will be ne around negative 7 southeast winds. 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming northwest in the morning. Clear Tuesday night, low around 14. North winds 5 to 10 miles per hour becoming west after midnight. This edition of the weather forecast has been brought to you today by five area telephone West Plains Telecommunications. Lincoln Riley, who grew up right here in Milshoe, the Mill Memorial City, head coach of the OU Sooners in his first season made all of Muleshoe proud at the Rose Bowl yesterday on New Year's Day. In a two-overtime game, Georgia beat OU 54-48. to That was the very first time the Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of all bowl games, had ever gone into overtime. In Lincoln's first season as the head coach of the Sooners, they came up with a 12-2 season record. Georgia now advances to play Alabama in the national championship game. You may recall that just two years ago, in 2016, another Muleshoeite, Mark Heidel, Former Muleshoe High School Mighty M Band Director, then the director of the University of Iowa Band, directed the band in the national anthem at the Rose Bowl. That was the year Stanford and Iowa met in the Rose Bowl. Now, the connection is not only was Mark Heidel a former Muleshoe High School band director, but Kelly Conklin is his wife, and she is the daughter of Miss Norris Conklin of Muleshoe. Now, that is really something. In two years, Muleshoe made the spotlight in the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Of course, Lincoln is the son of Miss Mike Riley and the grandson of Miss Claude Riley, all of Muleshoe. And we're proud, proud, proud to say that he's a Muleshoe High School graduate and he spent all of his growing up years right here in the Mill Memorial City. On Meet Your Neighbor, showing now online and on the air, courtesy of United Supermarket, we introduce you to the Bailey County Pronghorn Antelopes. They are beautiful videos that Gil Robert made here at the end of the year. So be sure and enjoy, courtesy of United Supermarket. Congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Eli Lee Al, Cheyenne Annette Rainey became Mrs. Sergio Elias Lee Al on Saturday, December the 30th at the Bethel Lutheran Church in the Stanford area. Congratulations to this young couple. Of course, Eli Leal, a Muleshoe High School graduate, and Cheyenne Rainey is a Lasbury High School graduate, and he is the son of Mr. and Ms. Sergio Leal right here in Muleshoe, and they will make their home in the Dallas area where Eli Leal is going to be going to chiropractic school there in Dallas. The bride is the daughter of Ann Hevington, Kenneth Rainey, and the late J.J. Clark Rainey. Eli Leal is the son of 
Tracy and Sergio Leal of Muleshoe, and also his grandmother is Irma Leal of Muleshoe. Congratulations and God blessings to this new couple. Also, we want you to be sure and enjoy watching the Sweetheart Program brought to you twice each month through the courtesy of Hereford Feed Ingredients, David and Liz Tips. And our New Year's sweetheart is Lupi Aguiano, who just celebrated her 80th birthday last fall. And happy belated birthday to you, Lupi Aguiano. Also, if you would like to nominate someone to be our sweetheart, all you need to do is call us here at Channel 6, 272-4989 or 3990. And we need a picture, and it can be any size, or we also will need information about your nominee. It can be a child of any age. It can be a couple a man or a woman of any age for any reason. Filing for the Milshu Independent School District regular and special election for the ballot will be January 17th through February the 16th at Milshu City Hall, Monday through Friday, 8 until 5 at 215 South 1st Street. Zaina Carpenter is the person to contact if you need any more information about filing for the Milshu Independent School District regular or special election. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just one moment. Please stay tuned. Ain Bank Muleshoe and Farwell is bringing many exciting opportunities to the Muleshoe, Lasbuddy, and Farwell areas. And technology enhancements increase lending capabilities while keeping all of the same smiling faces you're used to in both locations. Ain Bank Muleshoe joins the many area full service Ain Bank locations in the Panhandle, South Plains, Permian Basin, and Big Country regions of Texas, combined with an ATM network of more than 750 Stripes convenience stores locations in Texas, New Mexico, along with Oklahoma. AIM Bank has a commitment of supporting local communities and their local customers right here in the Muleshoe area. AIM Bank, where a handshake still means something, both member FDIC and an equal housing lender. The Muleshoe Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street has two nurse practitioners, Christy Lee and Kristen Neely. You can make an appointment now by calling 806-272-7544 at the Medical Clinic at Muleshoe with either Christy or Kristen. The Medical Clinic at Muleshoe is located inside of the Muleshoe Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street here in Muleshoe. Again, the number to call is 806-272-7544 to make your appointment now to see either Christy Lee or Kristen Neely nurse practitioners at the Medical Clinic of Muleshoe. On our prayer list, please remember our dear friend Sally Ellis. She's in the swing bed at the Muleshoe Area Medical Center. And Marshall Cook told us on Sunday afternoon that he is doing much better, but he's had a whale of a time. According to our information from Summer Wiley, her mother Wanda Wiley is now at home and her father is also doing better. So continue to remember Wanda Wiley in your prayers and welcome home to Wanda Wiley. Continue to remember the family of Davis Gear. 
This was the newborn baby son of Tyrell and Courtney Gear of Selena, Texas, who died shortly after birth, just before Christmas. Of course, his grandparents here in Milshoe are Miss Miss Joe Gear, and also great grandparents Miss Miss Robert Hooten, all of Milshoe. Well, our son. Grayson Reynolds is flying this morning with his girlfriend, Mar Santos of Dixon, New Mexico, out of Albuquerque, and they will go to DFW and then on to Mexico City for a week of vacation. So remember them in your prayers. Also remember in your prayers Amy Dennison's family. She was the daughter of Davy Jean Anderson Dennison of the Houston area. And of course, Davy Jean grew up here in Milshu and graduated from Milshu High School. And her grandparents were the light David and Jewel Anderson, longtime residents and pioneers of Milshu. Remember Ronnie Kenmore and Betty Harrison in your prayers. 11-year-old Ernie Toscano, who has leukemia. Remember, please, in your prayers, Rusty Trider, who will have back surgery later this month in San Antonio. Dr. Joby Claiborne, who is in Lubbock in rehabilitation. He is doing some better. Juanita Flores, and a happy 95th birthday to you, Juanita Flores. Tommy King, Joe, Jose, pardon me, Triana, Kathleen Hamilton of Earth, Della Johnson's grandson, Kay Ramage, Lisa Oftencamp, who is now at home, Remember these men and women who are in the military from our area. Morgan Young, Dusty Turner, Dustin Sturmer, Ranger King, Rusty Trotter, Lane Wood, Bo, and Brad Henry, Judd Glover, Erica Arzola. Also, continue to remember Sandy Noble and Marjorie Morgan of Milshu, the mother of Pam Thomason. Also, remember Greg Combs. He is out of the hospital, but in hospice care at his home in Austin. He is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Larry Combs of Milshu. Also remember his parents, Larry and Berta Combs here in Milshu. Marjorie Precure in hospice care in her retirement home in Irving, Nona Marlowe. Also remember Kevin, uh, Evan Kelly, who is taking chemo. Barbara Scott, who is home. Jim Daniel. And always remember those who have lost loved ones, especially during this beautiful holiday season. It seems like to me that it is so much worse to lose a loved one near Christmas. And those that we know of are Tona Simenacker, formerly of Milshoe, Richard Ring of Milshoe. And Anita Haley of Milshoe, Philemon T. Oliveris of Lubbock, formerly of Milshoe, Joe Pearson, Don Winningham, Irma Herrera, Pat Clements, Martin Hernandez, Norma Poole Orwin, 92 of Mansfield, formerly of Milshoe, and Dean. Gunstream Smith. Please remember all of those families who have lost loved ones during the Christmas season. Always remember Angela and Eric Hall, Jean Paul and Corlin Jarman, Glenn Watkins, Landon Nichols and all of his family, Maxine and Clinton Rogers, Doris Scott, 
Doyle and Leela Seuss King, Dorothy Sarley, Gabby Stone, Brian Taylor, and Dorothy Turner. Hey! Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train Road rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6, as well. Find it free of charge on demand on our website, muleshootv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith. Neil gets an education. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas are brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. They're owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online. B-C-E-C-O-O-P.com. The board the directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. Neil Hughes grew up in Memphis, Texas, when school discipline really meant something. The principal walked down the hall with a board in his hand, and if he saw you doing something wrong, well, he adjusted that for you. And first time I made an error in judgment, the principal, I just thought he was going to beat me half to death, and he said, we have some options, and I said, well... Okay, what are the options? He said, well, we can call your mom and dad, or I'm going to beat you half to death. And I said, let's go with that second one, because they will beat me to death. Every time he'd say, now, nah, we can still call your mom and dad. And I said, oh, no, we don't, we don't want to bother them. <laughs> Did you play any sports? I played hooky. I lettered in hooky for four years. I'm one of the few people, I think, that stayed with it that long and got it done. Some of my other Buddies, they gave up after a year or two, but I, I hung in there. I was really awesome, and I thought I was I should have been all state myself. <laughs> you spent 11 years in college and got a degree in journalism. The only problem I have is I don't like to write. So that's kind of a detriment to <laughs> doing that. As a matter of fact, I had one teacher my last semester. I wrote a theme for him, and... He threw it in the trash can, and I said, what's wrong with that? And he said, will I ever see you again in this lifetime? I said, oh, I don't know. He said, you're not going to work on your master's or anything? I said, oh, no. He said, if I never see you again, I will leave that in the trash can and give you an A. But if you're going to go ahead and go to school further, I'm pulling it out. And I said, well, it looks good in the trash can. I think that worked work just fine. He makes his living selling horse feed and maintains the family ranch near Memphis. He spells his last name H-U-G-H-S. Traditionally, the name Hughes has an E in it. My great-great-grandfather, for some reason, got mad at the Hugheses and took the E out. And so, allegedly, I'm related to the Hugheses, but, you know, it's one of those things back to around the 1800s, they People get mad at each other and just take something out and change their family name just a little bit, and nobody spelled my name right since then. Neil Hughes of Abilene. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.